Hello students! Welcome to week 1 of your Practical Research 1 course. Last week, you learned about research experience and knowledge, importance of research in daily life, characteristics, processes, and ethics in research, and differentiated qualitative from quantitative research. This time, Lesson 4 is about examples of research in areas of interest. To start with, think of research topics that you find most interesting. Then write down top 3 areas of interest for your research. If I will be asked to choose 3 topics, I will write there emotional intelligence, depression, and franchising. Your chosen topic will of course depend on your field of specialization. In the analysis portion, you will find 8 samples of research abstract in various areas of interest. An abstract is usually around 150 to 300 words which tells you what the study is all about. These abstracts are from 2019 Conference of Basic Education Researchers Book of Abstract. Sample 1 is about teenage pregnancy, a predictor of dropout or not. Sample 2 is about a teacher's journey, phenomenological study on the purative behavioral standards of students with broken family. Sample 3 is about batang ina, the journey of balik aral student parent. Sample 4 is about food service in public secondary school canteens in the city schools division of Antipolo. Sample 5 is about servant leadership to greatness, challenge to lead leaders of future generation. Sample 6 is about growing with social media era. Sample 7 is about empowering youth for environment in schools, yes o, towards a sustainable and eco-friendly school. Sample 8 is about knock knock, am I late? You will notice that the abstracts present the objectives, hypotheses, keywords or phrases, and the major results of the study. So by merely reading the abstract, you will know what the paper is all about. From those 8 research papers, you have to choose only 5 which you find most interesting. Fill in the table with the research papers, title, authors, purpose of the study, and reason for your choice. For example, I found sample 3 most interesting. The title is Batang Ina, The Journey of Balik Aral Student Parent. The author is Molina G. Rizzo. Based on the abstract, the study aims to determine the challenges and coping strategies of the student parents in studying. I chose this because I find it relevant. Many student parents are struggling to finish their studies. This study will be beneficial also to other student parents who have difficulties in coping. In the application portion, you have to go back to the areas of interest that you wrote. Then, search a research study about it and fill in the table with the needed details. In my case, my first interest is emotional intelligence, second is depression, and third is franchising. I searched for a study about emotional intelligence and I found Exploring Emotional Intelligence and Academic Performance of Filipino University Academic Achievers by Lucila Banz and John Ray Acopio. This is a quantitative type of research. It used a survey questionnaire that is scored using a Likert scale. The data was analyzed using Pearson's correlation. If the study does not use statistics and figures, that is a qualitative research. Now, the data collected is the overall emotional intelligence of the 230 academic achievers, where 133 of them are females and 70 are males. The participants of the study 
The result of the study states that emotional intelligence predicts performance in school. The recommendation is usually found after the discussion of results and conclusion. The recommendation in this study is to use larger amount of respondents. This activity requires a lot of reading, but once you've done it on your own, you will become familiar with the structure of a research paper. You will also notice that the form of writing here is formal and academic. That's all for lesson 4. Thank you for watching!